Well, Ulster were the last team to win a league game here. It came 19 months ago and was the Ulster men's only win in Dublin since 1999. The words ground, happy and hunting hardly apply to the men in white when it comes to this fabulous city. Ireland against Argentina in the June tour. Jack McGrath, good ball carrier for Leinster. Can be, but was uh, stopped well there. And Ulster, as a result of it all, have won the penalty at the breakdown, not releasing. Well, will he take all the kicks today? Because if you have a medial ligament issue, it can put a lot of pressure on your knee. And he was unfortunate there as it cannons off the crossbar. And Gordon Darcy clears the ball. Coming Ulster's way, Paddy Jackson looking for a second there for the inside ball. Finardi down to it nine times. And Irish International hands coming in on the floor. So they'll come back for the original original infringement. Send out the fire brigade to try and put him off. Will it work? Oh no, it won't. A fine strike by Ruin Pinar. Makes those extra extra meters that are so important. Madigan, the ball ricochets off Tommy Bow. And now here comes Luke Fitzgerald, and that's what Fitzgerald can do. He's so light with his footwork. And Leinster win the penalty it should be 6-3 Ian Madigan the top point scorer in the Pro 12 this season Rory Best into his Ireland teammate Jimmy Heaslip good strength from Heaslip now Clive Ross carries again. that's a good tackle by uh, Heaslip but I think he did himself a bit of damage in the, in the process seems yep. anguished and Ulster far from anguished at the moment he slipped the captain though it's not going the way of the home team at the moment man whose career has really been ravaged by injury and Ian Madigan no runs into his old man so Marius Matreya no brings seven. us all back for the penalty running along nicely for by 10, well uh, the sort of kings you expect Ian Madigan to get but the way he's striking them is what's so impressive months away from full fitness night Jordy Murphy was the ball carrier that time. Isaac Boss once more as the hands come in from Ulster and the penalty is right in front of the posts. Listen, I warn you, he was off feet oh, and play and play the scrum half play. Well, yeah. Dan Tui and Rory Bass cannot complain. They were warned at the very last penalty less than two minutes ago. He's come flying off his feet there in front of the post. Six points from Ruin Pinar and nine points from Ian Manning and all of Madigan picks. Referee still playing the advantage to Leinster. And Leinster crowding this blind side channel. Isaac Boss in behind Murphy and Boss puts a bizarre kick in the air, which is then knocked on by Gordon Darcy, not quite sure what was going on there for a little show and give out to the outside really don't know what the thinking was Madigan takes it goes quickly can he twist and turn over the line absolute individual brilliance and awareness from Ian Madigan Madigan was the man who was fluid and capitalized that's very smart isn't it really smart there Ian Madigan but from watching him over the seasons, you should be come getting used to the unexpected coming their way. Use it! Pinar to Roger Wilson, crabbing closer to that Leinster line. Ulster in desperate need of a try here. Will it come from Vian Herbst, who's right on top of the whitewash there? Okay, stand by, stand by, please. No, I feel it's the right question, Shane. I think, uh, I think he's rolled over. I think it, he did a little bit of squirming on the ground. He didn't initially get there, but... OK, so from what I've seen, there is no really clear and obvious over. reason why I shouldn't order to try. I agree. OK, so I may order to try. Correct. The referee okay. and the TMO try. are in agreement. And the result try. of their investigation is about to be revealed. So, yeah. I already know the answer. I'm just maintaining suspense. Now they need the weight of the extra two points from Ruin Pinar. And 
unfortunately for Ulster, he's pulled it just left of the post. Thank you as well as you expect that midfield scrum, a great opportunity, but the first pass off the scrum has to be flat. Madigan takes it too, le too deep. As a result, everything shoveled down to the sideline. And two, he didn't quite make the hit. Here's the former Ulster of Isaac Boss. Advantage for offside to Leinster. McGrath rumbles around and tries to twist his body to do something similar to that achieved by Vian Herbst. Here is Devon Toner. Can he stretch that six foot ten inch frame? Not Please quite. Fergus McFadden has his arm in the air on the right wing here. Will it ever make it that far? The forwards you feel will try to go all the way themselves. Well, that was, uh, I think that was the individual moment of the game from Fitzgerald. Beautiful feat. Be coming away with three points after that assault on the Ulster line. Oh, I don't know about that. You know, it's uh, those three points have put us eight ahead, so that's uh, obviously important in terms of the scoreline. To bring Ulster within those five points. Well, he missed the conversion of the V and Herbs try, and he was nowhere near it there. Very elusive when you can keep your pace and still put in a big right hand, right foot step. Jimmy Gorman has on for Zane Kirshner. And then to red zone in the second half and not come away with a score. It's going to prove costly at the end of the game. Luke McGrath is on at scrum half. And now uh, Ulster bring on a whole host of changes as well. Franco van der Merwe, very important player for them, is off. Luke McGrath. And it's Ian Madigan. And that might just work out. Oh, if the hands have been better there. It would definitely have been a try, but did it come off the legs of Jimmy Gobber? Maybe only Jimmy Gobber could tell you. Yeah. Can I just correct? Knock on, scrum. Knock on. Yeah, it's a knock no on by Jimmy Gobber. I'm sorry, James. Your smile didn't quite do enough. Adding more layers and elements to his game. Flying into the belly of Roger Wilson. Here is Luke McGrath. Oh, and no man deserves a try more than Jack Conan, who has taken on the mantle of responsibility since Jimmy Heaslip left injured. Second row, Toner working with Conan beautifully. Last two minutes, Lentz have been their old, old selves down that short side. They played it really well, haven't yeah, they? They've been carrying a real intensity. No man of the match today, but what a contribution from the Leinster number 10. And he lets us all down with his first miss of the day, but it makes no difference to the result of this match. There is your Guinness Pro 12 man of the match, Jack Conan, and Leinster it was who fired in that second half. Well, in particular up front, I, I don't think the Leinster backs are anywhere near their peak, um, and I don't think they will be for some time, but up front, they were absolutely superb. <laughs>